Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Asset Podcast. It's new here. It's almost Halloween. We're getting real close. Got my Halloween shirt on. Got my you know, Creature of Black Lagoon, my Laguna Years, Golden the Dark T-shirt. I've had this thing forever. There's a Poly, like they made a Poly's Universal ones. I don't think anybody was talking about. Straight out of Nightmare Jeremiah's gimmick table, hockey mask. Got my, my beard. That certain people that watch this channel just love this beard. I'm not going to say any names, but they might run Sleeve Speed Magazine. But what I want to do is, I just watched the film today, and I want to talk about it. I don't own it. I streamed it. And this film is a film called Fangs, also known as Snakes, also known as Holy Wednesdays from 1974. Uh, the only real names in it would be the lady that plays Large Marge from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. And the lead guy was like big back in the old radio days. He worked with like Jackie Gleason and all them. I was like, Louis Michigan or something like this. The whole plot is a small town. All the little kids know if they want to make a little extra money. They catch uh, rats and like, stuff like that and bring it to, on Wednesdays, the Snakey Bender. And he'd meet them at the, it's like, look at fairgrounds or something. He'd let them pet the snakes. He'd give them that. That's what he fed the snakes. He lived on this old, old, old uh, piece of land out in the middle of nowhere. And every Wednesday night, he'd do that. Then Wednesday nights, he'd go hang out with this guy, but he has been doing every Wednesday night for years, and he'd listen to big band music. Like, was it something, something, Sousa? The shit, you know, like, Stars just try to try all that shit. You hear, like, marching bands play. They, this guy had a great series, so they listen to that. Then he'd go over to, there's this young school teacher. Remember, she teaches some of the kids to bring the uh, vermin to Snakey. Pretty brunette school teacher goes to her house for something else. And that's his typical life. That's what he usually does. And throughout that, you know, that's just kind of what's going on. Well, there's this preacher that does not like him doing this. This religious guy. You know, you're tempting kids with the serpents and all this stuff. And his buddy that he watches, he does the music with every Wednesday. Well, he's going to, um, sorry, I got something in my pocket that's sticking me. He is getting ready to get married to this woman from town. They're older. You know, both Tim and Snake are both older guys. And all this is happening. Well, we see Snakey go as usual on Wednesday. You know, he's, he's got the snakes. And there's one in the car he won't let the kids see. Then, you know, he goes to his house and they're playing the music real loud. He's still sure I'll be seeing Susan a long time. And he's like, well, look, you know, next week I get married. But we'll still do this. You know, every Wednesday we'll still do this. Then he goes to the teacher's house. And this is when, because I'm watching this and going, okay, I remember picking up a cover similar to this on VHS I never heard of from probably about the same era that was like a made-for-TV movie that's kind of forgotten. I thought that's what I thought this was. And this scene kind of clearly been made for TV. You know, it could now. In Shadow, they show all this. Snakey goes to the woman's house. Well, not in Shadow this part. Snakey goes to the house. She lets, oh, you came to her. Oh, nobody saw me. He lets him in. And he's like, I got the big one. He brings up this big ass snake. And she lays on the bed. And we see in Shadow, they animate that like she's having sex with the snake. Like she gets turned on with the snake crawling over and going up in her. And like at the end of it, she opens her. You see like the shadow, her legs kind of open up. And Snakey, like, reaches between the legs and picks up this big gigantic snake. You're like, what the fuck? Well, what ends up happening is because he went so early, uh, Large Marge and her buddy, they run, like, the corner store where Snakey owes some money. Follow him and go in there and, like, Large Marge is in love with the teacher. And she looked, it took me a while to figure out it was Large Marge, and her brother just goobies in love with the teacher, too. And they start blackmailing Snakey, and they're going to fuck over Snakey. So Snakey, the kids... Quit bringing him stuff to feed to the snakes because the. I'm trying to remember what it was. Was the preacher maybe was paying him money or some shit? His buddy don't want to do the music thing anymore because he's married now, got a wife. And he asked Snakey to leave because, well, he just been married a couple of days ago. It's our honeymoon still. Well, Snakey leaves and we're looking in the window and the wife does like a strip tease. It's like, okay, this is definitely not made for TV. There's new video this. And then the thing happens with the. Uh, the teacher doesn't want Snakey coming around anymore. Wants to buy a snake on him, he won't do it. So Snakey's world is just collapsing. He just starts going nuts. And starts getting people to come out to the farm where he lives and kill him with these snakes. Like uh, the the guy that did the music with him, he comes out there and he kills him with the snakes. His wife comes out. His new wife comes out there. And every time every time somebody comes out there, Snakey, because Snakey has an old beat-up car, but like they come in the car, he, they, there's scenes of Snakey just shoving the cars off this one cliff. You see the same cliff like four different times, four different cars go off. It's a creature revenge movie. But it's sleazy as hell. But the weird thing is, like, there's almost no nudity besides the one scene with the the dancer girl dancing. And towards the end, the sec the school teacher towards the end, Snakey gets her out there and gives her a bunch of things. She like shows her tits for a second. 
it was like no nudity really it's not a lot of core it's just sleaze after sleaze after sleaze and snakey basically gets everybody who fucked him over it's like a revenge snake movie it's really it's one of these where i really think i don't know why i'm gonna step back make sure i can step on something i don't know why this is not spoken of like willard or uh What's the Florida Everglades name? Is that Stanley? Stanley? Yeah, Stanley. You know, stuff like that. It's fine. It's on Shutter. I don't know if this has got any kind of cool video release on there. I'm sure there's a VHS, but like DVD, Blu-ray, you know, 4K. I doubt it. 1974, it looks really cheap. Very small cast. Uh, don't know what else to say. Just a great movie. Go check it out. Yeah, go get Shutter. Six bucks a month. Six dollars for a year. Go get Shutter. But you know what? I hope everybody has a good Halloween, and I'm out.